This episode is sponsored by the following Patreons. Thank you so, so much for supporting this show. If you want to be a Patreon and get exclusive benefits, you can sign up at a link in the description. Players are competing for a one-of-a-kind totem pole prize package. The winner will receive a cash prize, merch, and their own totem pole spin-off show that will air after season three. For your next challenge, you will all stand around a table, flip over, and solve a puzzle. You must then run across the house and see the code for that puzzle. You will come back and decode your baggage. When you have solved the puzzle, follow the instructions. Everyone understand? Yes. Here we go. Everyone pick a spot. We agree to start this challenge and we hear that it's called decode your baggage. I like to decode things. Now, whether I'm gonna be good at this or not, I don't know, we'll see. On your mark, get set, go! I'm excited for this challenge. I really enjoy puzzles, and even though I like doing physical competitions, I definitely think my strength is any kind of mental games, and I play puzzles all the time at home just for fun. So I think, I don't think it's gonna be easy necessarily, but I think I'm up for the challenge. I hate running, why are they doing this to me? Honestly, I think somebody is sabotaging this whole day. Game for me, because they knew I was coming for me. Y'all ain't slick. Y'all not slick. <laughs> There's furniture in the way. It's not so big open feel. At least on the hill, it was just big and open. I could just kind of hobble my way over the line. Here, we had our jump over furniture. We've got to watch out for other people. The door only this big. And my thick self, you know, I'm a little bit thick, if y'all didn't know. I'm not going to be able to fit my thick self in this boot and throw other people through this door. I'm literally working my butt off in this challenge. I'm running back and forth, like literally sweating. I'm jumping on couches. Kadia's like literally wobbling around on her boot, and I'm like, I'm sorry, Kadia, and I'm jumping over couches to pass her. I'm going through doors. And get out of my way. I don't care. I want to win this challenge. I have won one yet, and I think this is it. It's a fun challenge. I really want to win it, and I hope that I can win it because I want to be at the top of the totem pole. I got some moves that I'm trying to make. seeing people rushing people are running back and forth back and forth and I'm thinking okay I gotta remember like suitcase smiley first word the okay then I go back and I'm thinking I'm freaking stupid I don't know how to put this puzzle together I can't remember like half of the things I'm saying and then I start saying it out loud because people are saying theirs out loud this one I don't know if I got it in the bag I really don't I really don't think I have it in the bag <laughs> Honestly, the biggest issue is like everybody's in the way, you know. Like I, like people are like, <laughs> Kadia's like hobbling around, you know what I'm saying? And everybody else is like, like slowly, like standing in the doorway. And I'm like, move! Like I, like I'm, I'm here to win this challenge. Like, this challenge is easy. It's in the bag, you know. And so I am like freaking trucking it back and forth, knocking out those letters like four at a time. Like it's coming really easy to me, and so I'm feeling really good. <laughs> my crutches because I'm like baby this will give me some hop speed and I can just <laughs> hop my way through the door. Y'all, I don't do well with puzzles and I started putting the pieces together that was the easy part but you have to decipher stuff on the puzzle and find like the symbols and stuff so I'm running and I'm like all right cool I you know A B C D whatever I run back and I find the first word and I'm like 
I am not going to win this challenge at the speed I am going at. So I'm already forgetting symbols. I'm already forgetting stuff that's going where we're supposed to be at. So I'm looking at this and this all looks like a foreign language to me because it is. It's nothing but symbols. And I have horrible memory. I I will look, I know I'm gonna look at a symbol, turn around, forget, and have to look right back. And also I have to remember I have to memorize this and then run to the other half of the house. So it's not like just and then I don't have a pencil. I gotta usually this is like them little puzzles you solve in like the little coloring books. Usually you have a pencil where you can write the little letters above the little symbols. But I have to remember all of them and remember the phrase as I'm going. I gotta memorize, know the symbols, know the letters, and hop around. That's four things that's gonna be hard to do. And I'm starting to think that they got it out for me because this ain't it. <laughs> So I instantly start putting this puzzle together and I start and from my knowledge of coding I know that I need to start somewhere so I start from the bottom um, which probably wasn't the smartest thing to do but I knew that if I start from the bottom normally in coding in codes the most important thing is in the bottom <laughs> <laughs> I just start like, you know, walking across the hall. I'm like, I like I know I'm not gonna probably win this, so I'm just walking. And I'm like running into people because people are running. And I'm like, why are they running? And like, I don't know what's about to happen. I see just Josh like nonchalantly just like walking through, you know, obviously Kitty is walking. She has a boot on her leg. She can't do much. But Josh is just like nonchalantly just walking through, you know, here, not even just that. Luke is walking through the room eating fruit snacks. Are you here to like win the challenge or are you here to eat some fruit snacks? Luke, what are you doing? So once I get to the second word, the, the second to last word, it's balcony. And I know I realized something's gonna be, are we gonna have to go to the balcony to finish the challenge or what? So I needed to figure out the rest of the code. I need to figure this out. I have to get the top of the totem pole or I'm gonna go home. <laughs> Derek and Madison are really fighting hard for it. I can tell that they really, really wanna win. If either two of those win the challenge, I'm a little bit nervous because Madison, again, I'm not working with her, so I don't know what she'll do. And Derek is such a wild card that even though I'm working with him, He's done so many crazy things already, I don't know what would come out of his mouth. It's kind of annoying because like, the first half of the message is like, inconsequential. Like it doesn't even like, matter, you know what I'm saying? So we run like, five trips without you know, it amounting to anything, but I'm knocking out some key letters um, in this challenge. I'm getting really, really close to the end. I'm getting to the point where I'm like, so this, this word, this word, this word, I'm like, okay, this is going to have something to do with the, the top of the totem pole is going to be hidden somewhere. So going through this challenge, I'm kind of getting in my head a little bit, not about the challenge itself, but about everybody else around me, because again, I'm kind of focusing in on the people who are really trying hard and I know are already kind of getting further along than I am. So at this point, I'm starting to skip words in the puzzle. So I'm not going, you know, one, two, three, four. I, I kind of solve the first two words and I start solving the last two words. So I'm going to get a gist of what's actually happening and maybe just go for it. So I get to the part where it says balcony wins. And at this point, I find Josh and I together alone in the room where the actual cipher is. 
and I just tell them, hey man, that, that word is balcony. I get to the board, and me and Sabrina have like a split second alone, and Sabrina tells me that one of the words is balcony, and I'm like, balcony. Oh my gosh, like what was that word? Because I'm trying to remember all the previous words and then I'm trying to like translate it from previous words and then I'm like trying to remember what symbol I'm running in it again. And so like, I don't know, it's getting hotter. The pressure's heating up. So I go into the same mindset I have for challenge one. Work with this, because you know you're not going to win by keep going back to that puzzle. So balcony, obviously that has something to do with the challenge. So I go up to the balcony, and I started looking around, and I'm like, where is it? Like, where is this thing? And I was the first one out there, so I wasn't really too sure if it was out here. Well, something's out here. The last word's balcony. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I literally do not know. It's somewhere out here. I know where that. <laughs> and if it's not, well. So we're running back and forth, I'm like getting like so worked up, the pressure's on, I figure out it's on the balcony, my initial thought is like, oh, like as soon as I run to the balcony, everybody's gonna follow me to the balcony, so I have to like get there and find it quick. But then I saw everyone else come out, Jace is out there, he's flipping things, he's looking through the grill, I'm like, you know, I can't let Jace win his second top of the total hole in a row. So I'm like, let me find this. So I had like five words figured out, so I was still running back. As I'm running back, I noticed that like three or four people are outside on the balcony. What is going on out there? There's no reason for me to keep continuing this challenge. Let me get on the balcony and see what's going on. I'm assuming they're looking for the top of the tone pole necklace, so I'm gonna start looking too. We're looking around and then I'm, I'm like, holy crap, like I didn't translate the last word. Is there like something I'm missing here? So I'm digging around, I'm looking, like nothing's lit up. There's not five of us out here. None of us can find squad. You know, I just like, oh, it's, it's getting crazy. Oh, so I start throwing the couch cushions off the couch and I'm freaking out because I have to get this code. I have to win this challenge or I'm going home. And Madison is around his tail and so is Jace. Look over there and I see it, it's on the light. So I book it, I run. Congratulations! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm the top of the top of the ball! I'm the top of the ball! I'm like, yo! How did I do this not even knowing what the puzzle, like, what it was? I don't even know what the clue was. Oh, yeah. Good job! Literally, the moment I started looking, Josh scratches it and puts it on. I did. Good job, bro. Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry for nothing. As soon as I turn around, there's Josh with the necklace. And I'm thinking, yes, I'm going to be safe this time because me and Josh, I, I think we're close. So I don't think I'm going to go home this round. I think he's going to save me. Sabrina, thank you so, 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 so much for giving me that hint, that clue. I got you, girl. I know you got me. We've been proving that left and right. Last one I proved it to you. This one you proved it to me. So we good. We good. Josh, um, switching me from the bottom showed me that he does want to work with me and trust me. So I want to return the favor to him because I want to also solidify that on my end that I want to continue working with him. And so helping him win the top of the total this time around is good for my game because A, it solidifies this alliance that two of us have together. And also it does still keep blood off my hands and keeps me a little bit in the shadows to where Target wouldn't be on me next round if I don't win. That was a good challenge. That was a good challenge. I love that. What was it, Josh? Yeah, was the <laughs> I love this. He yeah. did you. He did you, bro. Kadia looks at me and she is like, "So what was it?" And I'm like, "I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I didn't know what that was." And I and that kind of was suspicious to me. Like, why would you tell him? 
I just didn't understand it. Like, I, everyone else is working so hard for this, and you just, someone told you that it was on the balcony. Seriously? You don't know the code? How did you know to get to the balcony? I had every single word. I had this challenge. I knew what I had to do. He was the one that was walking. He was literally walking inside of the house and he won this challenge. No, not okay. He did, he probably didn't even know a single word to be honest. He probably only had about three letters. But how slow he was walking. But everybody else has to put in hard work so why shouldn't you? That kind of, I was, I was shocked and I laughed a little bit, but at the same time I thought about it. I'm like, he's at the top of the totem pole and he didn't really work for it. After Josh wins and we head into the strategic portion of the round, I don't even bother talking to Josh because I know my connection with him is still solid. I take this opportunity to go talk to new players and see where their heads are at and start picking their brains a little bit just to get some more information. Concerned. Um, till this point, still Jackie and um, what's her face, Madison. My own. For, oh. Like as far as like the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, and after that, that point, I have to look at everyone else. Those people are going to be in the bottom five. But, yeah. Like, you know. Um, I'm just scared of Madison's power. You're okay. So. I think everybody is. I think everybody is. But, but we just gotta. Yeah. 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 We gotta let. Yeah. Just let yeah. Bernie. Just Bernie. Bernie. Mm -hmm. okay. Good. Josh has been my ally the entire game, and I know that I'm gonna be at the top of the total ball. So, so yeah. as far as like, well, I'm thinking, um, I'm gonna have to put Jackie at the bottom. Okay. Something to mount in the bottom. Jackie, Luke, and only two more people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, well, my please, I've literally been through like hell and high water since like round two, so I don't wanna be at the bottom again. Oh. It would be lovely if I didn't have to be. But I'll gladly take baggage for someone if y'all happen to be there. Well, y'all won't be there, so never mind. I will not take baggage for anyone this round. They're gonna go, they're gonna go, but I just don't wanna be in the bottom again. That's all. I feel like I feel bad for like the one Jason in the bottom because like, he literally left me at the top the last yeah. mm -hmm. round. So. Who's their shame? That's it for me. Yeah. Who's their shame? Jackie and Okay. Okay. We have like what two more minutes? Yeah, literally do whatever you want for you. Okay, awesome. <laughs> yeah, I just want to see where we're standing. Cause like that last one was pretty intense. Yes. And like our conversations were pretty intense. <laughs> and just like based off of that last round, I didn't really get a good gauge as to like who, like your core, like who you're working with. It was just very like you didn't tell, like you didn't have to tell me like what your cards were and stuff. But like to gain some type of trust or just anything in this game, like that wasn't really given to me. And no, I shouldn't like have to like expect yeah. or ask for it. But like my thing was, it's like I was gonna tell you during the because like I had just gotten exposed, mm -hmm. and I was gonna tell you like after the like the, the strategy. Yeah. And then you didn't switch me, and like that that like I thought you were you and, expecting me to switch you? Honestly, yes, okay. I did. I wasn't expecting to be in the bottom. Cause I just like, I just need people to be straight up. We only have a couple of like, like minutes oh, yeah. to strategize. So like, yeah. if you want something to happen, yes. like you have to jump at it. Like yes. you saw I was a switch. So you should be like, Hey Josh, are we good? Like, cause that's what everyone's doing. So like, yeah. if you, if you would have said that, I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. I'll switch you. Okay. So, but that didn't happen. And like, I had to space things off of like what happened. And Jackie like has already been at the bottom, like, mm -hmm. uh, like a lot. So, but now we're the both, we're, we're the only two that's been at the bottom three times now. Yeah. So like we're even now. Okay. But I mean, like you do what you have to do. But I mean, I'm thinking about making um, a move, and I haven't told anyone about it. 
it's going to kind of shake up the game a little bit because I think the person I'm going to put at the bottom, <sighs> um, th they need to go. That's all I'm gonna say. Cause I just—I literally haven't told anyone. Okay. So. But you do what you have to do. I—I mm -hmm. I will trust you. Whatever you have to do. So. Okay. Alright. I'm so sorry. No, you're I good. Literally you're good. had to go to the restroom in uh, a four minutes. Yeah. What? <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> me, you, and I'm Sabrina. I'm talking obviously. So, and Sabrina's literally the only reason why I got this necklace. I had literally no idea. Yeah, she said the last words balcony. And so I was like, oh, I'm not going to keep reading this on the balcony. So I said, this three were good. I think us three were because they're going to expect me to put you in the bottom. Okay. But I'm, I just don't, I'm not going to do that. I don't know. It's literally going to just kind of be like, where are my boys? So what? what I don't, you're not going to be I'm not. I think you're going to be my top five. So. She was next. I was next. Now I'm really freaking out because me, Shane, and Madison, we needed, we needed to win this challenge because I'm pretty sure me and Madison are going to be put to the bottom again. So, who knows, maybe all three of us will be put to the bottom. I don't know what your plan is, whatever. I put you in the thing because I'll be having on to talk. And just now, I mean, obviously everyone's bombarding him, so. I am going to repay the favor and I'm not going to put you at the bottom. Okay. So, just because I think you've had that stress enough this entire time. <laughs> Thank and you. And I do want to make some kind of bond with you. Yeah. Um, so, you're not going at the bottom. Thank you. So, Thank do you have any input as to who you think should put it on the bottom though? The only thing is, is Madison's cards. Mm -hmm. It's the thing that is like messing everyone up. Yeah. So, I don't know what you're going to do with that. I mean, that's your choice, but we don't know what it is. And she can use both of them. Well, I mean, not both of them at one time, but she can use one of them. Yeah. Nash can, so. I don't know. But good luck and thank you. Okay. Someone's calling my name. Thanks, Jackie. Um, I have a plan. I'm putting someone at the bottom. So, Josh is top of the totem pole. I feel really good about that. Me and him have secured a very strong alliance. Um, I've told him. I've told him some things that like I haven't disclosed to other people. Um, we're kind of in on each other's strategy and everything like that. And so I feel pretty good. Um, I, I don't expect to be the very top, but I do think he'll keep me out of the bottom five. What do you think I'm putting at the bottom? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. But it's final nine. Sure. I don't have a lot of yeah. spaces. Yeah. Um, but I haven't really figured that out yet. Yeah. I'm no, really stressed. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. No, you're good. Hey, I know it's, I know it's stressful. You're, you're gonna follow. I keep following that with you because you're like my number one. Um, yeah. People are coming to me talking about some, you have some secret deals with Madison and you just didn't shake on it and like lately like you had, a, you have deals going on. No. I have no deal with Madison. Okay, so you promise me, like you promise. 100%. Yeah. Like, top three. You, me, Gideon. That's what I've wanted, like, this whole time. And that's what I'm not like, trying to fight for. But, like, I'm just... I'm just, like, I'm stressed. For me, like, I'm, like, Madison has a lot of power. And I would rather have her, like, thinking she's on my side than... No, and, like, I totally get that. Yeah. I just think that, like, I think that it's good that I brought this to your attention because I think it's important to keep open and honest communication. Yeah. He's planning to make a switch, not a switch, but like a big play in the game. What's that? I, he wouldn't when tell I me. When I was talking to him, all he told me was that like, he didn't, real quick, he didn't want to touch Jace because Jace had kept him safe. He's making a big play and I don't know what it is. You don't have to worry, clearly. Well, no, I, th I think I do. Congratulations, Josh. You are the top of the table. And you must now place everyone from top to bottom. The bottom five players are in the most danger. So only three people are safe. Correct? That's correct. Three people are safe. Go ahead. All right, so unfortunately, I have eight blocks here for me today, and I can only save three of you. If Josh decides to pull some crazy stuff on me right now, I do have my secret advantage, which allows me to reverse the switch, which 
could be helpful, but I don't know if this is around for me to play it. Um, so my decisions based off of this is just kind of decisions I've made in the past, people who've helped me out in the past. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get to it. So the first block I'm going to grab is Shane. Oh, oh thank you. I do know what I want to do for sure is have Sabrina and Shane at the top. And I know for sure I want to put Shane at the top of the totem pole, like right next to me, because me and him haven't really had a chance to chat throughout the game, but he knows we're working together and I want to know like, hey, like we're still good. And of course, I know I want Sabrina up there as well. And the last person I'm making safe is Sabrina. Sabrina's gonna be okay if I put her third. Like, she's fine, she knows we're working together. As long as Sabrina is safe, we, we're good. Thank you. All right. Back in the bottom. You are the bottom five. I've been in the bottom all the, <laughs> the whole time, <laughs> sir, so. Um, welcome to the Josh, really? Why am I not in your top? You literally put me in the bottom five. With Kadir, people that I thought we were good with. What is what is your process? What's going on in your brain, Josh? I don't get it. It's literally mush at this point. <laughs> <laughs> we're all at the bottom at this point. There's only five blocks left on the table. We're all going to the bottom. I don't know what we're gonna do now. This decision came because I just think it has to happen at some point and a move needs to be made and I do think Luke, you're in a pretty good spot right now. So um, Madison, you're going to be second to last and Luke, you're going to be at the bottom. Luke, you are the bottom of the total pole. Oh. My. God. What? What? How? have been cool through this whole thing. I don't understand how he's gonna put me on the bottom. I'm pissed. Oh, oh, so sorry, so sorry, so sorry. So Josh puts Luke in the bottom and I'm like, oh, for Rick. One of my closest alliances is at the top and then the other's at the bottom and they don't know I'm working with each other. There's this, this is not good. This is not good. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Me, Jace, and Luke, we all came in with baggage. And so we kind of created a baggage alliance, if you want to call it. And he wants to get Luke out. I can't have that. Luke, I know for sure has my back. And if anything goes down, I can trust him. Him and Jace are one of the few people that I know that I can 100% fully trust in this game. And I gotta protect my baby no matter what. Luke, I gotta keep you in this house. And I am. You're gonna be in this house if I have anything to say with it. So Shane is telling us, y'all are at the bottom too. Again. I'm thinking, he's right. I need to get my game together. I need to put something up together. And I know that Shane's gonna make it far. It is now time for the switch. Tessa and Connor decided who the switch is. And they decided it would be Luke. You are the switch. 
Oh nice. my. I'm the switch. Luke, you are the switch. <laughs> ah! I'm thinking, sir, can you can you not right now? Everyone is silent. We are all like, oh, what are you doing? But you're at the bottom, so obviously Luke's gonna save himself. I mean, why wouldn't he? Calm down, please calm down, okay? You got the switch, you can save yourself. I hope y'all all realize that he needs to go. He needs to go now. You're just making a switch, Luke. Just stop all the dramatics, please. Just stop. You look, you look silly. You, look, you, you really look silly, Luke. Stop. Luke's. <laughs> I can't even like talk about it. It's so funny. So, Luke starts dancing so crazy. Like he is so excited. But like the whole house, like I don't even know what we're we're all doing. But like I can't stop looking at like everybody in the house because everybody's just like. <laughs> So go up there, claim your spot. You ain't gonna get out this game that easy. So I'm taking myself out the bottom box. Screw that. Sorry about it. I don't know where this came from. Honestly, that's what I'm upset about because me and Josh have been pretty good in this game so far. And then out of the blue, he wants to get you out. What sense does that make? So get up there, claim your spot, and show him. Um. Oh, this is a really tough choice. So, <laughs> let me just, let me just, let me go up the line here. So, we got, okay. I, I'm not getting my way. I did not know that Luke was going to be the switch. Luke is the switch. I just put Luke at the bottom of the totem pole. He's at the bottom, and he's gonna switch himself out of it, and he's gonna switch himself with one of the people who I am for sure working with in this game, and Luke's not one of those people, so I don't need him to do that, but he's going to anyway, so I'm stressed out. I'm not happy at all by any means. So, I'm gonna be quite honest with you. I'm gonna I'm 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 leave it open, so. Y'all three, give me a reason. Give me a reason why you should. Give me a reason, let's go. I have Make them work not targeted you this entire game. Right. I have never talked bad about you, and right. I wanted to work with you, and so right. I think there's a good you reason to switch me. Alright, I can't hear that. Wait, <laughs> uh, when I ranked, I didn't put you in the bottom five. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna tie it, man. Okay, Shane. I mean, this whole game we haven't really talked a lot, but I've never come after you, and you've never come after me so far. So I think we're in mutual grounds and I don't want to break that. Y'all didn't make that easy. I thought I was going to make it easier. But I'm just going to have to make a move. I'm so sorry. I am freaking out. I am freaking out. I do not know what I'm going to do. I had a perfect plan. He was going to, you know, hope, like, you know, leave. But I don't know what's going to happen anymore because he, he's the switch. So. If, it just can't be me, y'all. So. I'm sorry, Shane. Oh. Me and Shane are working together and I don't need this situation to happen. I look over at Shane and I'm, I'm like, Shane, I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. Like, 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 what are we gonna do? And he looks at me, he's like, I got you. And I don't know what that means. 
Looms, like, like he hasn't told me anything. Like I said, me and Shane have not really talked much. We know we are working together. All right, please change positions. Luke switches himself with Shane. And I'm like, no, like, come on. Now it's me, Madison, and Shane at the bottom. My chance of possibly not being voted out just went down the drain. He decides that he's gonna switch himself and Shane. So Luke is now in this second spot. He just put Shane in a really bad spot. Yeah. It sucks for Shane. I know what 10 feels like, and I know that you don't always feel like you're gonna be safe in these moments, so. If anyone has a secret advantage or an expose, you can use it now. Luke is the switch and takes my spot, putting me at the bottom of the totem pole. However, I still have my secret advantage and watching him dance around and showboat in front of everyone is just giving me the satisfaction that I'm waiting to see on everyone's faces as soon as I play my advantage. Step up and switch his game up a little bit. Bottle five coming for your next. So I'm using my secret advantage, and this is called the reverse switch, which says you can reverse. You can reverse a switch after it happens, keeping the placement the same. Must be played before a defender is selected. So I'm so sorry, Luke. We're switching back. Oh, oh my god. I'm so sorry. He had the best card, because after all that, all that. <laughs> Shane really switched himself back, and Luke was back at the bottom. No one saw that coming nobody i didn't even know that shane had that card i don't think anyone knew he had the card luke was mad i was dying i was living for it i was honestly living for it <laughs> i guess we all look at like fools today because i was so happy for you that was like so many emotions just happened. Comes right back <laughs> to the bottom. <laughs> and and I'm gonna have to save him, you know? Like I, <laughs> Why? Why'd you have to do that? Okay, why you've done made a fool out of yourself, you know, put a target on your back. I mean you did get Shane to use his advantage, and so that's good, but at the same time, I'm pure Got a pretty good feeling he is going to pick me as his defender. I'm gonna have to save him. I'm gonna have to save him. Are you freaking kidding me right now? You need to tell me that Luke. <laughs> Luke thought he was doing something with that. All I gotta say is, Luke, you had your whole clown costume on from the nose to the makeup palette, everything. Whole clown. Sorry, sweetie, but you took yourself back to the bottom of the total pole with that. Thank you so much, Shane, for finding it. I don't know how you got it. So you didn't tell me you had it, but come on back to the top, baby. Come on back to the top. <laughs> it's okay, you have the whole clown costume on and off. Oh my god, I got it! and crying at the same time at this point because I'm happy for Shane. My, I'm, I, I'm safe. I'm, Shane's in the top. That's all I care about. Luke was shook. We was all shook. We had no idea that was about to happen, but Luke literally just put on this big old charade, this big old dance party, just to be back in the same spot. It sucks for Luke, but he literally put on all that just to be back in the same spot. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's no. show you the that was crazy, I can't believe that. that <laughs> Dude, I'm shook. Cool. I'm shook. Oh.
it's a game. Game. It's a game. No, no, just save yourself. I'm shook. I don't know what to think. That just shows you that anything can happen in this game. This is no way like season one. No way at all. And I'm kind of upset because he let you do all that first and then say he had to fire. He even walked his little tail back to the back with the final five. I would have just stayed there and be like, I got this guard. I'm not going to get up. I love my Shady Boo. I do. But it affects my Lukey Boo. And I don't know what to do. I'm like, what the heck? What just happened? That was crazy. And I can just see that little smug smile on Josh's face when Shane pulls out the card and says, I have the power to reverse the switch. And at that moment, I saw Luke's face drop and Josh's face light the freak up. And that did not sit well with me. I am hoping that we somehow can get a redemption out of this because something's not right. I smell a little fish in the room and I think it's Josh. Luke, you are the bottom of the totem pole. You must now select someone to be your defender. They can either save you or take power in the game. If they take power, you are eliminated. If they choose to save you, they will unleash baggage on the game. Please come up and select the defender. <clears throat> oh, I got some more to say, y'all. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so before I select a defender, um, let's just be real here, because I'm, I don't do fake. So, what you guys got? Who's gonna Who's gonna say? Who's gonna take? Raise your hand if you're gonna take the power. Like, be honest. I don't want it. Well, raise your hand. If you're, like, raise your hand if you got it. So, so hypothetically, I give you this. Who's taking the power? Be honest. Because if you're honest, maybe I'll just give it to you and let you take the power. I, I mean, I might, but baby, you've been next to me since day one, though. That's what I'm saying. And so, like, this is just a hard decision altogether. That's right? what I'm saying. So. Luke really asked everyone, why should you be my defender? And I'm like, no, what are you doing? Yeah, no. I, it's just tough, like you said, I, I would definitely say you, but it's just getting down there, and I don't really want to say position I was in last time. Right, right. right. Well. So it's just that, that baggage right. box stuff, but. Yeah. I think, but if you honestly, choose, I, you, I, I will save it. you. Will you? I will save you, yeah. So, at this point in the game, I'm working tightly with Kadia and Jace, and I also have Jackie on my other side. Now, when it comes time to pick a defender, I know that Jace and Kadia would save me. I'm confident. And with Jackie, I'm not so sure that she's going to save me. But at this point in the game, I think it's super, super important, whether I take the fall for it or not, that I give Jackie the opportunity to prove that I can trust her moving forward. I, I have your word on that. I mean, I would do. I will pinky promise. I have your word. I yes. Mm. Are you sure? Decided, or when you first tell you straight up, like how it's gonna be? So okay, I'm gonna be real with you. Cause you said what you told me. You said what you told me since day one. What? Oh. You're right. What you told me since day one. You made you. Bro, day one. <laughs> day one, bro. But like, I, I know, know you gotta do what you gotta do to like save yourself. And like, you see, like at this point, I'm kind of like accepting defeat. Like, wah, wah, wah. Like, it's fine. So at this point, if you're accepting defeat, who do you want to take power? Actually, you know what? No, scratch that. I'm not accepting defeat. All right, then. So, who's willing to save me? I literally just said that. I would say, yeah. Me and Madison. And we haven't worked, like, I haven't worked closely with you. Yeah, so, but then why would I trust you? because we haven't worked together, so I, w I would want to build that alliance, and I have been trying to build that alliance with you. Do you think you're on the bottom, like on the outs, oh, yes. like all by yourself? Yes. So he's really conflicted about who he's gonna pick to be his defender, and I think it's honestly between me and Jackie. <clears throat> We're both in the bottom, and well, Jackie's his baggage. So I think I have a fair shot, so I, I tell him, I was like, I don't really know you as well, and I will, I will save you. I, I'm not gonna save him if he picks me. Um, I need to be safe. I it's my butt on the line versus his, and I think I'm a more powerful player. I have already have two. I have two. I have a secret advantage and an exposed card. 
I think I'm going pretty good. So if he were if he picks me, I'm not gonna save him. Jackie, yeah, you think you're on the bottom on the outside by yourself? Yeah, pal. I've been here the whole time. Like, us two, like, has been the bottom, like, she's been the most consistent. Yeah, I, I, I would literally save you. I'm just scared. You know what? Might as well. I'm just gonna say, hey, I will be your defender. And everyone's like, no, 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 no. No, I, I, like, I understand where you're coming okay. from. That's why I'm not going to give this to you. That's fine. Because no, I don't, I don't want no, it. exactly. That's why I'm not gonna give it to you because okay. I have, like, that mutual respect, whatever. We need a decision. Okay, sorry. I just talked way too much. Jackie, I'm trusting you. Bro, if you, I know we've had our stuff in the past. I, I if you screw me over again, Jackie. Jackie, you are the tender. You love a bridge being built. <laughs> or is it? This is it. Please come with me. I don't know what's about to happen. I, in this moment, I kind of want Luke to stay, but. I kind of want to move gone. I don't know. We'll see. And so he picks Jackie, who he kept telling me is like, dude, I got Jackie. I got Jackie in my corner. I can convince her to do whatever. I'm just like, all right, we about to find out. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? My, the fate of my game literally lies in the hands of my baggage. I, oh my gosh, why did I take this risk? Why did I just pick Jace? Oh my gosh, I'm literally so stressed right now. Please, Jackie, please save me. I'm walking down there and it's getting for real now. There's the power and then there's the save. And honestly, the power looks really tempting and I'm thinking I should just take it for myself. I've been at the bottom every single time, so I need to save myself. What will Jackie do, and who will be the next two players eliminated from the totem pole? If you want to play the totem pole online, streamed live on YouTube, you can sign up to be a patron over at patreon.com and help support the show. It helps us make future seasons. Thank you so much for watching. You can watch these videos here, and make sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. I'll see you next week on Totem Tuesday.